Hello again YouTube, it's just VB Game Maker. I'm just here for a little update on my engine. So as you can see, I already have a pre-made map here. But the big new addition is this, right over here. I've added a second layer to my mapping system. So as you can see, standard grid, I've already gone and pre-made a map for us. You can scroll to the right, see what the map's like. Right now, every single tree you see on this map is in the second layer and fully collidable. This means that I can collide with the base of the tree, I can also walk under the top of the tree giving the illusion of depth. Now, I know before my tile editor I only showed a very small map, but it, my engine is capable of running much larger maps. Right now I'm running uh, a map which is about, let me see I have the numbers right here, this many tiles, 2,401 tiles we rendered on the screen at once. All right, now, so look around here, so you see you can scroll to the right, maybe go down, it shows your position, go left. You see, you know, I'll put a little smiley face there. Not too bad, so we go up here, save, just for fun. I've already saved this, so let's just get right into the editor. So I pulled this up here. All right, I've already saved it in my assets, start our overlord. All right, I've added a little bit of a run feature, I'm just gonna turn that off, hit enter. I have the loading thing that comes up now, so it tells you, you know, loading the map, just wait a minute. It takes about a, about 15 seconds or so for it to come up. I mean, this is a fairly larger map. It's already up here. I uh, see we're getting about 33, 34 frames per second. I generally get around 40, but as I said, Cam Studio rapes my frames per second in my game. See, I can walk around. As you see, I'm moving around. There's the other part of our map. I mean, there's a little house up there. A little fence we can collide into it. Here, here's one of our second layer objects. As you can see, I can't walk through the base of the tree. Let me get the base there. But if I come around behind, I can get the illusion of death by going in behind the tree. See, I still can't walk through the base. Now, my editor is able to achieve running this many tiles at the same time because I'm only drawing what you can see on screen. So basically, what that means is I've set up a boundary box and I've said. If you're not on the screen, don't draw yourself. This is what allows me to have maps that start to become very big. I believe the largest map I've made was about 14,000 tiles. Uh, I just made it all grass. It didn't get too fancy, but it ran pretty well. So you can just walk behind the trees. There's my smiley face we created. Uh, other than that, guys, I just wanted to share that update. Uh, keep checking back because I think Friday I'm going to start putting up tutorials. I'm going to start with how to put bitmaps on the form. All right, this is basically what I'm doing here is I'm drawing all the bitmaps right to the form. This is a little bit of a different technique in Visual Basics. So I'll maybe put up a tutorial on Friday and then I'll start teaching you guys how to put together tiles. Later.